I'm not really a fan of shorts, but this was good. This was good. So let's get into the review right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. So today we're reviewing the film The Mo Guy, which made its world premiere at South by Southwest. Now, this is a short, so it's about 15 minutes uh, in the runtime, but it also is the winner of the Midnight Shorts category at South by Southwest. So congratulations to them, director John Bell, and uh, really capturing a lot of eyes here in this phenomenal film. And before I go any further, I got to say that I want to see this fleshed out into a feature length film. This was good. This was good. And I love how some of the things that I was kind of leaning towards of thinking it was going to be predictable or go a certain direction. I love that it went every other direction that I was thinking, which I'll get into in a second. But for 15 minutes, this thing piles on a lot of horror really quick and really, really good. And it's beyond intriguing as to where this can go instantly. Like, it gave you so much so quick, but you're instantly hooked like, I want more. Like, it's you're, you're going to be fiending for it immediately as the film starts. But I was definitely creeped out by this. And, like, the performances were really good. I felt even really authentic considering the nature of the things that was happening. By the way, I should just tell you what the synopsis is, but it's an aboriginal psychological horror. The Mo Guy is a story of a family terrorized by a child-stealing spirit. So, yeah, considering that, you know, the child's in danger and the responses by the parents here, I really thought it was really authentic and it really draws you in uh, because it it had me stressed out for them super quick. And because of the dynamic between the two of them, um, I was just really stressed out. But like this uh, atmospheric horror to a T, like really, really good on just all layers. Um, but like again when you're talking about the direction here so like i thought this was going to put emphasis on this is um you know this is not a spoiler because it's, it's out there but like it's a psychological thriller that explore that explores postpartum depression so like i thought that the monster essentially was going to be something built up into the mother's head and then the father wasn't going to believe them and then you know we was going to go down that road of a of, of, of more or less um, talking about a really a really big societal issue, which it does explore some, but in fact, it's not the fact that the, the father doesn't doesn't continue to always not believe her. He eventually comes to <laughs> comes to terms that there really is a monster, and not only is there really is a monster, it really is a monster. So there's a classic uh, going back to the classic of there actually being a monster and the monster not living within one's head, which I love because I, I definitely thought it was going this way. And the fact that there actually was a monster and we got to see a monster to some extent, I really, really love that idea. So I can't wait to see where this goes. I hope it is fleshed out into a feature length film. I think it will be a fantastic film. I think the, the, the last closing shot that you get is so good and yet it's so because you just want some more um that uh, we we're going to need john bell and them to to get this all together but i think they got a lot of momentum coming out of south by southwest uh, from the fans obviously with the accolade of winning of of the winner of the midnight shorts category and um, i'm pretty sure they got to be thinking like what do they do beyond this now so I'm definitely going to be standing by seeing. But again, The Mo Guy, which is an Australian film, it's a short, it's about 15 minutes long. If you have an opportunity to check this out, definitely do so. You, It'll be the best 15 minutes of your life uh, used for, for, uh, for film. And you will be like me wanting to know, when are we going to get more or the rest of this? Or, you know, or something. But we'll see. But as always, folks, thank you so much for checking out my reviews. And I'll catch you all very soon. Big old bell.